Right, a bit of a long day for me today, so this is, uh, I think this is about part four to this, isn't it? Uh, so I've just got in now. Uh, thanks for listening if you've got this far. Uh, a couple of things I just want to mention. Uh, look, whatever we say in these, these boxing chats, we're just trying to correct things that have said now. I know there'll be people complain, No, oh, Porky, you said something about Tony Bellew is great. Yay, sand AJ. Oh, pray AJ, we're not worthy. Well, listen, AJ is probably the best one out of a lot of them. They've got him fighting, how they want to have him fight because you've got to understand this. And this is the common denominator, right? Joshua's got all these people pulling him about and telling him what he should do and who he should fight and this and that and blah de blah. He just probably wants to just go out back of uh, some cafe and have a dust up like the rest of us. He probably just wants to take Joshua, he probably wants to take Wilder and fill him in on Tyson Fury. They probably all do, but they're all with different TV companies. But main topic of this conversation is you, Tony Bell, you, 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 you little naughty boy, Tony Bell, you, uh, you're a disgrace, Tony Bell, you. We know what you said when you rung Dennis Hobson up, saying stuff about me. You never met me. You said I'd upset your son because I said you'd never beat a champion. What about you upsetting Nathan Cleverley's family, saying he'd never beat a champion? You kept repeating it on ringside. You never beat a champion. You never beat a champion. You never beat a champion. That's what you did, Tony. Boots on other foot. You've never beat a champion. Now I'm all right with that, but as long as you're happy with that, Tony, when you put your head down on that pillar at night, yes, you made millions of pounds. But you never beat a champion now. If you're alright with that, Tony, that's okay. But when you're sat on one of them round table things with Paulie Malignaggi, Davy Day, Carl Froch, Johnny Nelson, don't you feel a little bit, you know, out your depth like you shouldn't be there? Because that's I mean if you're alright with that, Tony, that's up to you, isn't it? But if that were me, I'd feel a little bit I don't know, I feel a little bit like Dennis Hobson is sometimes when he comes out and there's me there and obviously Dennis's dad and he's passed away but me, Dennis's dad and other people you know in Dennis's circle, Richard Towers, people like that who've uh, done a bit of shovel, done a bit of jail or a lot of jail. Dennis always says, you know I always feel a little bit, you know Ross, because uh, I've not done any bit, any bird and I always say, Dan, I know Dan, I can feel you. But you're okay, Dan. We're going to allow you into the circle. <laughs> well, you must feel like that, Tony, when you sat with Carl Froch and Davey Day. Because they won WBC World Titles abroad, didn't they? Hey. Well, even Johnny Nelson beat a champion. I know it were, I know it were a, by default, but and it were a WBO that Frank Warren... Uh, the belt Frank Warren got for him, but anyway, it's another story, isn't it? Tony Bell, you, we won't be able to cope with you, you're all those hardcore boxing fans. And to be honest with you, Tony, you can fight, but don't tell me that you know you you this and that because we know what it is, don't we? When we break it down, because that's what we do, we break things down. Now, getting back to the pay-per-view situation, well. You probably feel a little bit embarrassed, Tony, that you've had more pay-per-views than Carl Froch. <laughs> when you look at both of your CVs, I mean, by God. <laughs> I think Froch beat more world champions in one year than he, than you've beaten your whole career. <laughs> but anyway, I don't know, I just like to... Uh, I like to put things, people straight, Tony. That's my problem, I think. Um, if you want to put me straight, feel free, Tony. But as I've just said earlier on in the video we both know and two other people two other people who i know who are ex-professional fighters we know that you didn't run around you weren't running around saying that dillian white were innocent and that you had his back and that that's not what you were saying tony now balls in your court you need to come out now tony on social media and put me straight go on call me uncle fester call me what you want but I'm not the one that was saying what I was saying about Dillian White behind his back. 
I've said it on my camera, he knows my name. Gillian used to DM me. Gillian White knows who I am, he can call me anytime he wants and I'll say, Gillian, there's more unanswered questions around this. I won't throw in, I'm not throwing my arms around Gillian White. This matter is a bit of a mess now, it's all gone away now, so let Gillian move on with his career. We've got a bit of closure about it, haven't we? But we also know, we all know where it is, don't we, Tony? So, you card have not nailed anybody yet who's a world champion, have they? Who have they nailed? They haven't nailed anybody. Tyson Fury won't fight him for them two and a half years because he didn't want to fight. Who have you had nailed? Liam Cameron, a four year ban for one offence. Who else? They're nailing the small fry to say we're doing something about drugs in sport. They're not. People are trampling all over them now. We're not saying Dillian's guilty and we're not saying he's innocent, but we did presume him to be guilty because of Thomas Hauser saying what he said and he's respected and. And you kind of more or less said, aren't they, the, the war of, there were findings. You're supposed to have 0% in your body, and Nandrolone, Dillian didn't have 0%, did he? Their words, not ours. Now, we're the fans now. I don't want to see Dillian White coming out saying F-U-C-K to the haters, and them that have stood by me, I know who they are, and them who want, I, I'm not going to forget. Well, so what? Dillian White's not in my life. He don't mean no to me. I'm a boxing fan. No, I respect his trainer, but Dillian White ain't no to me. Or the guy saying he's his brother, they're no to me. They're no to me. Dillian's a good fighter, but he's not fought for the European title yet. But I want to see fair play in boxing. Now, if there's something going on that's not right, it's our job to talk about it as boxing fans. So, I have people that back my channel, two people back my channel. Right, financially, too. So I'm fortunate, very fortunate. But, you know, if people want to give me an office and have other people want to help me out a little bit, that's up to them, innit? They'll always be in my heart. But I have a duty to people who help me and people who respect me and send emails in daily and people who follow me saying, Russ, what's going on with this? What do you think to this? You'd be amazed what I do get sent. And there's people. Who oh, you think are your mates, Dillian, who send me stuff? And there's people who actually, Tony Bellew probably thinks are his mates that send me stuff. I'm not interested. Tony Bellew's yesterday's news, innit? He got with Eddie and we all know what it were, don't we? He ain't really fought anybody. His best win is who? Who's Tony Bellew's best win? Who? Does anybody even know? APB out. Does anybody know who Tony Bellew's best three wins are? Uh, Isaac Chilemba, Oval McKenzie, and uh, Pegleg David A. You could throw cleverly in there, but they dragged him up £25. That is it. Tony Bellew's life story. Tony Bellew, the end. That's it. Dillian White's B sample. We don't know what's happened to it, do we? We don't even know if they're going to test it. It's all shrouded in mystery. If anything, what they've done to Dillian White is nothing short of scandalous, but we the boxing fans, look, we know what it is, don't we? Right? So, that's that. You can a disgrace. They'll not go after anybody who's a pay-per-view star again. They'll never do it again. They've got no money in bank, have they? They're struggling now. This is how I look at it. Does this mean that boxing now is going to have all the top stars using gear? I don't know. What Dillian using gear? I don't know. He didn't look so good in that last fight, did he? So I don't know. Has he got a good trainer? Yes. Is he most improved fighter? Yes. Why is he most improved fighter? Probably because he trains his ass off and he's dedicated. He's underdog and hardcore fans back Dillian White. But we need some clarity and this isn't clarity on this B sample now. I don't want to talk about it after today, but I'm saying all them people that are back slapping him and going up to his mates and saying yeah it's a liberty yeah we always knew you were innocent dillian and all that look them people are arse lickers because they're not saying that behind the scenes all right so we all know what it is i know what it is but this is what i'm saying about it i'm not happy with the situation that you kind of given me 
as a fan. I'm not happy. I'm a YouTuber and I'm not happy with the result. But it's gone and we move on and we wish Dillian White all the best. I hope he smokes Joshua's boots. I hope he smokes him. That's right. I hope if he fights Joshua again, I'll be screaming for him to win just like I was the first time. But there's a smell around this pea sample. Or oh, this whole situation is very smelly. Just like the Tyson and the Yui one. Yui, yeah, people see that, so know about Yui. That situation with Tyson's and Dillian's, very smelly indeed. How oh, Yui were, Yui fought, didn't he? And, and, and it all came out, but it all came out, didn't it? But it was all us just at the beginning. Look, all very smelly indeed, and I'm not happy with it as a boxing fan. And yeah, you can fall out with people or you can become your mates in boxing for saying things, but there you go. What am I supposed to do? Say, oh, I can't say that about certain people. This channel, I'm, I'm hard hit. it's an hard hitting channel. I'm different to everybody else, very different. I'm not like Coogan, hey, up, mate, how are you doing and all that. When, when there's none of that. There's none of that. I don't. We don't have any of that on here. We'll just tell it as we see it. So, alright, but anyway, you're lucky you've had this video at me today because I'm not very well and it's going to be another couple of days before I'm better, probably Thursday, Friday. So, but I'm, I'm on the road to recover, but I'm not well at the moment, honestly. My eyes are dark, they've been for a couple of weeks. I just feel rough. And uh, my temperature thing, where's that, where's that uh, beep thing that I have on my forehead? So, 37.1 anyway, so I'm getting down to where I should be, aren't I? But, so peace out, keep on trucking, keep supporting boxing and keep supporting AJ, he's the best ever, it's a masterclass and he's like Muhammad Ali, shades of Ali, shades of Ali, fighting, fight. he fought like Johnny Nelson, punching but going backwards, like that, <coughs> but it is what it is isn't it, all them people that were saying it's a fight and we want Joshua to win, we want Joshua to win, let me tell you this, when Joshua won, they were like, go. Oh. They didn't want him to win. I wanted him to lose. I had Ruiz in my bet. But Joshua pulled it out. Nine rounds to three. He did what he had to do. But don't tell me he's a savage. Don't tell me he's this. Don't tell me he's that. He fought like a frightened man, gun shy. And a fit Dillian White knocks him out. But that's another story, isn't it? So, but remember, Innovation Alloys. Love you to bits. Thanks to Back It Channel. South Yorkshire Packaging. Just done a year with my office with you for free. Porky with his own office and a gym. Two officers. Thanks very much. Look forward to the next two years with your South Yorkshire packaging. Keep them free officers coming. Fantastic. Free electricity, free computer, desk and lot. Bought my own chair though. So, alright, well, anyway, I'm going to go get my kids now or I'm going to go phone them. So, hmm. That's another story. So peace out. All right. Don't have nightmares, and don't forget, we must whip Mr. Tooth Decay, and don't forget to subscribe as well. We're down to 42% of you. You keep watching my channel, but you don't subscribe. Come on, give Porky a bit of a tick. Come on, get back in me, oh, and show me how hardcore you are. You really are. <laughs>